avoid those dreadful fat finger mistakes. Welcome to Currency Cast. We're back after the summer break and we stand ready as we launch our third season. My name is Austin McKinley. I'm the senior financial writer at Cantox and your host. In this week's episode, we're discussing spreadsheet risk in the context of currency management. A recent survey by Citi shows that 80% of corporate treasurers remain reliant on Microsoft Excel in the forecasting process. Now, stay tuned until the end because we're going to reveal the best way to tame spreadsheet risk. Spreadsheet risk comprises a series of errors stemming from the requirement of data to be manually inputted into each cell. Manual execution not only takes up valuable treasury resources, it makes human error inevitable. The most common errors and risks include uh, data input error, and that includes fat finger mistakes, copy and paste errors, formula errors, formatting errors, multiple versions circulating across the enterprise, uh, lack of supervision, lack of backup, and so on. Despite all the efforts in uh, spreadsheet risk management, the problem isn't going away. In fact, more risk is being created as economies grow and businesses become more complex. The most widely used spreadsheet saw the light of day before the World Wide Web and the Internet browser. That is, before the explosion in interconnectedness. And interconnectedness lies at the heart of modern foreign exchange hedging. Imagine a perfectly designed FX hedging program for a company that seeks to protect its annual budget rate. Given the specific features of that company, especially its pricing characteristics, such a program would allow the treasury team to systematically outperform the budget rate, avoiding underhedging or overhedging all the while. Now imagine that this program is implemented on perfectly designed spreadsheets. A treasurer's dream come true? Not so fast. Spreadsheet risk would still sneak in throughout the three phases of the FX workflow, the pre-trade phase, the trade phase, and the post-trade phase, with potentially devastating consequences. The most basic element in currency management is the process of sourcing the FX rates that are needed for pricing purposes. Now, quite apart from the fact that Many firms undertake this process with irrelevant time-based criteria. The reality is that once those uh, rates have been sourced, for example, through the website of the European Central Bank, commercial teams receive that information on a spreadsheet. Next, uh, exposure must be collected and processed. Budgeting, as we know, is a process that involves uh, commercial, production, controlling teams, purchasing managers, economists, members of the finance team. In other words, the cornerstone of an FX hedging program is the result of dozens, hundreds of spreadsheets traveling back and forth across the enterprise. And at this point, spreadsheet risk is only in its infancy. Now, let's skip the trade phase and focus on the post-trade phase. What about performance analytics and accounting and all the required FX swapping? You guessed it. Once more, critically important information is subject to manual data input error, copy and paste error, formatting error, formula errors, and others. It's high time for risk managers to tame spreadsheet risk. Here, currency management automation is your company's best antidote. These software solutions use application programming interfaces that allows data to flow seamlessly across different company systems, ERP, TMS, and others, without any need for spreadsheets. And remember, avoid those fat finger mistakes. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, or subscribe to our channel in order to keep up to date with the latest episodes.